This video will give you an overview of the Focus 2nd Edition presentation tool, which is available online or can be downloaded and used offline. You can access the presentation tool on the Pearson English portal using the code in your teacher's book. Each time you log into the Pearson English portal, you'll see your dashboard. If you haven't yet activated the code in your teacher's book, click Add Product. Once you have added your course, click on the Presentation tool and Resources icon to enter. For this example, we'll use Focus 2nd Edition Level 2. The Focus 2nd Edition presentation tool is fully interactive and contains both the student's book and the workbook. To get started, click on the unit you want to teach. The unit screen includes all the lessons from the given unit, as well as additional sections from the back of the book, such as the BBC and Focus Vlog video worksheets, or grammar and use of English reference and practice. You can adjust the layout of the screen and decide if you want to view just the student's book, the workbook, or both. To start teaching, click on the lesson page. This will take you to the full lesson page where you will see the interactive exercise icons. Click on the star symbols to go to the individual exercises. You can move between exercises in two ways. First, you can use the lesson flow toolbar, which you will find at the bottom of the screen. Alternatively, you can click page view in the toolbar in the left corner of the screen to go back to the full page. You can click page view at any time. This will help students follow along in their print version books. To close page view, just click it again or click the X at the top of the screen. The presentation tool is designed to be used for the heads up moments in a class, setting up, checking answers and whole class activities or discussions. For that reason, tasks like this vocabulary exercise are focused on helping you check answers and deal with queries. If you want to show the related text to your class, click the Attachments button. Since all exercises are interactive, you can do them with the whole class by eliciting answers and then checking them together to see if they are correct or not. For exercises focusing on reading and listening comprehension, you can click the Information button to access guidance on why answers are right or wrong. If you don't want to do an exercise together with your class, the presentation tool allows you to just show the answers individually or all at once. You can switch between the student's book and the corresponding workbook page at any time by clicking on the tab and then on the relevant exercise in the lesson flow toolbar. Teaching tools can be accessed from the menu on the left. They include Draw, Highlight and Arrays. Under widgets you can also find a timer, scores, and a dictionary. The blank option allows you to switch off the images so you can write or do an activity on the board. Now you will be able to use the presentation tool in class with confidence to provide interactive and enjoyable lessons for all your students. For more information, make sure you watch the other videos in this series.